What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Deeply Starred and I am back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing some rapping and painting to Vision's interior. You'll find out more after this lit intro. Let's get it. some of Vision's interior. I'm not sure what parts yet. Um, you can see what it looks like right now. It's decent. Nothing special. You know, just, it's all stock. So I haven't done anything. Just the only thing I did to this car, you guys saw it in a, um, a video ago of this uh, vehicle. Just the headrest. And these already been in here. I put these on. The interior. I had put this on already previously, so you guys saw that in another video as well. So that's the only thing I've done to this interior. The, oh, oh, yeah, the interior. Yeah, that's it. The other thing was the uh, these projector lights, but that's not really the interior. That projects on the ground. So anyway, so for the interior, that's all I've done. I've done to it. So I'm gonna start working on the inside of this car so what I'm gonna do is remove some parts I'm not sure yet I'm gonna sit out here and brainstorm on what I'm gonna be removing and then I'll you guys will see in the next segment of the video what it, uh, the parts that I'm gonna be wrapping but again this just to show you what it looks like now it's clean I just want to add a little flavor to it that's all let me get the back seat on this side Let's see. Yeah, as you can see this thing is clean I keep my cars clean. I don't be doing all that, eating and all that in my cars. Nah, man. Bro, you want to ride with me? You can't be eating in a ride, bro. We got to eat outside the car. That's how you keep your cars clean. You got to keep them up. All right, so, anyway. Get, your little, get the roof. So, yeah, this thing is clean. Anyway, so, I'll be back in a sec. Let me figure out what I'm going to be wrapping. You guys will know in just one sec. Let's get it. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. So, I got the parts off that I'm going to be wrapping, and uh, I'll show you guys in a sec the parts I'm going to be wrapping, but I'll show you what I removed so far, and then obviously that's going to kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to be wrapping. All right, one sec. So, as you can see, I removed all that on the door panel, and I also removed the little rubber around the uh, ignition. And I also removed that little piece around the uh, parking brake. Not the parking brake, the uh, your shifter. It's a little plastic piece that went around this. All right. Then, same thing on the other side. I removed all that. So it's not going to be a whole lot. And I'll see how it turns out. Now, the color I'm going to be going with, I'll show you in the next part of the video as well. So I'm going to be wrapping those pieces so the door, a little bit of the door right there, the handle, and the also the power, you know, the window, a little plastic, that plastic, can't even talk, that go around, you know, your um, window adjustments and your power lock, and of course your window up and down. All right, so I'm going to be wrapping all that, and, and it's not a whole lot, I want to see how it's going to look. And I'm, a, I'm not going to put a whole lot of, you know, wrap in this car anyway. Just a little bit. I want to compliment uh, the car for the most part. So I'm not going to be doing too much. So uh, if it turns out well, it'll just be a few more pieces I would want to wrap. Like, for instance, this. I don't know if I would wrap it or paint it. But I do want to change the color of this as well. I'm not sure what color yet. So anyway, all right. So this is just the beginning. All right, be back in a second. Then I'll let you guys see. The parts I'm going to be wrapping and the color I'll be going with. I'll be back in a second. One second. And this is what I'm going to be wrapping today. So we have your center console cover, one of the doors. Yeah, this is the uh, driver's side, passenger side, and for the door. And the other two pieces for the door. And you have 
have your ignition cover, a little rubber piece. We'll see how that's gonna come out. That's gonna be interesting. But it's like a soft rubber. Well, it's not too soft, but still, we'll see how I'm gonna be able to wrap this piece there. And then your um, shifter cover. Well, it's not a cover, it goes around it. Around your shifter in the center. And that's it. So what I'm gonna do is wrap one piece on camera because it's gonna be repetitive. It's gonna be the same thing afterwards. So I'm sure you guys don't want to see me wrap every single piece. Anyway, so let me go ahead and get set up. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. I'm gonna be using some uh, rubbing alcohol to get this all cleaned up in a little um, microfiber uh, cloth to wipe it down, and then uh, we're gonna get started. So I'll be back in a sec. Let's get it. All right, guys, I'm back. So change of plans. Change of plans. Hold on for a second. I did wrap one piece and I'll show you guys that uh, later on but what I'm gonna be doing is painting I changed my mind I didn't want to go with the wrap on everything I wanted to go with with some paint and so I already have again everything cleaned up I will not be um, wet sanding it like sanding it down or whatnot because I don't want to scuff it up and then in the future when I do decide to get rid of this car if the original owners want to you know I can let them know hey this paint can come off and then underneath it, it won't be all scuffed up. I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. But I got everything cleaned up, and I'm about to um, show you guys what colors I'm going to go with. Then I'll start the uh, painting process with the uh, primer. So let me show you first what I'm going to be, what colors I'm going with. Let's see. Let me turn that so I'll be going with red. touch of yellow all right so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start with the uh, primer process and I'll show you guys that we'll put a few coats of that on there and then we'll start the paint process and the only reason just in case you guys are wondering why is he putting some yellow on this car that's to complement the brake calipers all right be back in a sec let's get it all right guys so I'm back I'm about to do the first coat of the uh, primer. Got my primer right here. So, I have to do the first coat on this one. I'll show you guys that. Again, I don't want to make it too repetitive, so I'll just do the first coat and maybe the second coat. And then uh, once I put the third on, I won't show that one, but I'll be back to show you um, the paint process. But I'll be painting what colors and whatnot. All right, so let's start with this one. And I'm just going to go straight across and come back straight across and come back all right you want to do it in one smooth motion straight across and come back you want to keep it going all right so that's the first coat on that one and i'll just show you this one as well all right again straight across and back you want to keep it moving you don't want to leave it in one place that's when you start to get the paint run all right, straight across First coat on that one, and now these little parts right here, same thing. All right, so that's the first coat. Let these dry for about five, 10 minutes, then hit it with the next one. I wish I had my heating gun down here. That would speed up the process, but it's all good. All right, be back in a sec. All right, guys, so time for the second coat. Same thing. This time, I'm just going to focus on one. Let's move on to this one. Try to get on that a little bit. There we go. Come around to this side. Get it even on all sides.
coat. We'll see. All right. So, and again, I won't show you guys that process because, again, it'd be just too repetitive. But so far, so good. Back in a sec. Let's get it. All right, guys. So, got the primer on there. My gun's ready to go. Looking pretty good and smooth. So, we don't get started painting. So now I'm about to decide right now what colors I'm gonna go with or what because I only want let's see what I'm gonna do is this will be yellow and I'll do that one and these red right now you know what now I'll show you guys later on in the video what color I went on, went with, or what did I wrap on the inside of the car. I'll show you guys at the end of the video. But anyway, so let's get started painting, all right? Let's get it. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting on the first coat. And same process, I'm just gonna go straight across. Let me get my gun straight here. Just gonna go straight across and keep it moving because you don't want any runs and you see right now in my primer that I put on there's no runs zero all right so nice and smooth nice and smooth that first coat you don't want to put it too thick you just want to get it on there all right that's that one now let's go back here because remember these are going to be red same thing just to lay it on there, that first coat. You don't want it too thick, you just want to get it on there now. Let's go. Put the first coat of yellow on. Same deal. Alright, straight across and back. I want to get it on there, that first coat, not too heavy. Alright, really light. It, it's very disappointing. It was very, very disappointing. This is the only thing we got out of it. Out of what? The only thing we got out of it. Yeah? Yeah, this is the only thing. Well, just be grateful for that. I, be grateful. It's all good. How was school? Right. It was pretty good? Are you going virtual later on? Yep. Alright. See you later, buddy. Alright, peace. Alright, guys. Anyway, that was my neighbor. I call him Action Jackson. So we got the first coat on. And we'll be doing the uh, second one around 10 minutes. Let it dry a little bit. All right, so we'll be back in a sec. That's good. So we're back. Here goes the second coat. Shake it up a little bit. Now I'm leaving these cans sitting in the sun so they can stay warm. You don't want your cans to be cold when you spray them because then it's just going to be spotty and the paint job's not going to come out correct. So. I'm leaving them sitting in the sun and I shake them up a little bit before I start. So there we go again, the second coat. Let me just spray my tester. There we go. Let me go around a little bit to the back side here. Same deal. Get it on there. Second coat. Not too heavy. I'm going to spray that one. Come around here. Same deal. What I'll do. Well, I'll tell you guys in a second. Let me focus. Alright, right, that's the second coat. Let's sit this one in the sun.
second coat on there. Nice and smooth. So we'll hit it with a few more coats. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish up. I won't show you the rest of the process, well, it's just the paint process because, oh, I'm gonna put this out in the sun. The rest of the paint process because it's gonna be too repetitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and you'll see the final product pretty soon. So leave these in the sun so they can stay warm. Show you these again. When you see them again, will be the finished product, all right? That's just the second coat. Coming out pretty smooth. And I recommend you take your time when you're doing this. I know you want to see the finished product. We all do, but you want to make sure you're doing it right, all right? You want to do it correctly. You don't have no runs, no splatter, all that stuff. You want it to be smooth. All right, be back in a sec. Let's get so it. I'm done painting. I, did, I think I did like five coats. I just want to make sure I get it on there real good. So this is what it looks like. And then I'll do another video. Of course, the final segment will be um, them on the car. I won't, you know, shoot me putting them on the car. I'll just let you guys see what it looks like when I'm done. All right, so, so this one, real nice and smooth. No runs, real clean. Let me show you this one. I may hit this one one more time because inside, you can't really see it, I can inside there, right there. You practice it a little bit. It needs a little bit more paint on there, just a little touch. All right, that's that one, but nice and smooth though, nice bright yellow. Right, so I'll probably hit them one more time. And then these came out really good. <coughs> Real nice bright red. These came out super nice. Super nice those. I mean, all of them came out really nice. Cause this yellow hitting, and that yellow hitting. And again, that's to complement the brake calipers. So, you know, anyway, but I think it came out really good. Red hitting on those too, so. All right, so the last segment will be of me um, just go ahead and put them on vision. I mean, you'll see them when it's on vision and I'll show you the wrap that I did. <coughs> That one piece that I did wrap. I think it came out really good. Alright? So be back in a second, man. Let's get it. Alright guys, so it's starting to get dark on me, so I'm gonna do this real quick just to show you the inside. So I finished with uh what I was doing and what I did, I decided to paint instead. And then I did one wrap, and I'm gonna show you that in a second when I wrap, and I believe it came out pretty good. So let's just start with the paint first. So that's how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good, actually. It looks pretty dope. And then I did a little rubber piece around the ignition. And then a little piece around your, uh, what is it called, the uh, shifter? I don't know why I keep almost calling this a parking brake. Crazy. And that's the other door. I think that turned out pretty good. Now, let me show you guys what I wrapped. All right here. Center console. I think that turned out pretty good. I did have one spot where I, um, let me get my hand out of the front of the camera where I um, tore it on the other side a little bit. Oh no, it was on this side, well on this side. Yeah, you can see it right, right here. Right there, I tore it a little bit, but overall it came out pretty good, pretty good. So and that was the piece I was telling you guys I was gonna show you, but yeah, it came out otherwise pretty clean. But yeah, that one spot right there. So I'm gonna end up doing this over because I want it to look really good, but yeah, not too bad. Let me go to the other side. If I can get an angle from over there. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. So not too bad overall, just a little something something just to spice up the inside a little bit. So let me know what you guys think. Your boy Beaver, sorry. Back with another one. I'm out.